Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be replacing the front struts on our Yukon Denali. So the first thing we're going to do is come in and we're going to have to remove the wheel. So we're going to go ahead and lift with the jack, and we like to lift on the frame here towards the back and put the jack stand towards the front. Uh, next, using our 22 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead and remove all of the lug nuts and then remove the wheel out of the way. Next, we're going to take a 15 millimeter wrench and we're also gonna be using a 15 millimeter socket at the same time. And we're gonna come in here and find our sway bar. So we're gonna go ahead and put our wrench on the top of this to hold it still so the nut doesn't just spin. And then from the bottom, we're gonna use the other 15 millimeter uh, socket to loosen it up. So we're not gonna remove it entirely, we just wanna loosen it. So don't take the nut off, just get it loose. That gives us a little bit more play, it makes it easier to get the strut out. Now there's two 15 millimeter bolts here for the bottom of the strut. So as we come uh, to the bottom here, you'll see those two here. And so we're gonna go ahead and just remove both of those. And since we will be unplugging the MagnaRide shocks, it's a good idea to loosen up the battery cable to 10 millimeter and just remove it and put it out of the way, the negative cable. I also like to put a blanket down and basically just lay down here and look down onto the top of the strut. And that gives you a very good access here. So we're gonna go ahead and find this that's coming off the top of the strut uh, for this electrical connector. And we're gonna go ahead and it, on the very end, you see that there is a gray tab. So uh, with that gray tab, we're just gonna pull it out and it's just a locking tab. And now we can just pull uh, the plug off. Now it's also held on by a zip tie, so we're gonna go ahead and just cut that with a pair of cutters. Now coming in back into the wheel well here, you'll see these little clips that uh, just push down on the top of the studs. So all we're gonna do is take a pair of pliers or a screwdriver, and if you just push up from the bottom, they pop right off of the stud. So here's one, here's another one. Uh, this one also had a smaller harness uh, clamp on it, so we're going to go ahead and, and just push that up as well. Now from the top again, we can move these out of the way, and we have perfect access to our 18 millimeter nuts here that we need to take off the studs. So with an 18 millimeter socket, we're going to go ahead with an extension as well, and we're just going to remove all three of these nuts off of the studs. Now for one of the bolts, it really helps if you have this little U-joint. And so this is what it looks like. I'll put a link in the description where you can get one if you don't have one, but that's helpful. Okay, now from the bottom, we're just pushing at the base of the strut away and it will pop down. And now we're gonna drop the strut um, just out of here, watch that electrical connection. And once it gets to this point, we're gonna actually pull it back up through the top and towards you out of that little wishbone suspension there. Now we're gonna bring in our new strut. We're just gonna come right back through the top how we took it out. And as soon as we get it angled in, we're gonna go back up to the top. Go ahead and feed that electrical connector through the hole and then line up your three holes. And now at this point, it helps to push down on the wheel and you can slide the shock absorber into place. So get it lined up here at the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, two 15 millimeter bolts back through. So we're gonna put a nice little bead of Loctite on this so that they don't come loose. And then we're just gonna drive these up through the bottom. Now a little Loctite on the nuts for the top of the strut. And we're gonna just come back in and reinstall all three of those. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our connector plug back together. So it clips back in and we put our lock back into place. So that's what it should look like. And uh, now we're just gonna go ahead and push down uh, all these tabs. There was that one harness one as well there. Just push those down. And we're just gonna reattach this where we cut it and we can put a new zip tie on it. And now we have our 15 millimeter wrench on the top and our 15 millimeter socket on the bottom. We're just tightening our sway bar back down. Okay, we're gonna replace the wheel, put the lug nuts back on, and remember to tighten these down in the star pattern or you know every bolt across from each other. 
Now we're lowering the car just enough so the wheel's touching the ground, not all the way yet. And we're gonna go ahead and for this vehicle, it's 145 foot pounds. So check your specific application. And again, we're torquing these using that star pattern, using every lug nut that's across from each other. And go ahead and reconnect your negative battery terminal. Okay, and you're all set. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please check the video description. I have a playlist with all the other videos that I've done on this Yukon. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.